Hello everyone, this is Jacopo, CEO of Dynamite Studios. Today is the day of a great announcement. There is the partnership between Dynamite and game publisher Gamico. Now, I know that many of you have figured that out already in the last few days, and I'm sorry for making you wait for so long before hearing official word from us, but uh, here it is. So let's talk about it. I know that many of you have questions, doubts, even fears regarding this partnership, and I'm here today to reply to all of them in the most transparent way, as always. But if you still have questions or doubts after watching this video, check out the blog post because we are going to have a live Q&A where I'm going to reply to any question that you may have. So you're going to be able to post them on a dedicated forum post or a dedicated channel on our Discord server and I'm going to answer them live. Uh, check out the blog post for the exact date and time of when that is going to happen. Let's talk about the deal, shall we? And uh, first of all, let's talk about why we have found a publisher in the first place. I think we've been always pretty open regarding the fact that we were actively looking for a partnership uh, with a publisher since the very early days of the project. And there's always been for two reasons. Uh, the very first one is funding. We've always been able to sustain the team with the sales of founder packs, uh, but we've never been able to grow the team beyond seven, eight members. And I think for uh, such a small team, we've been uh, developing at a pretty nice pace, but not fast enough anyway. We don't want to release Fractured in 2025. You know, we want to get to release uh, next year, hopefully, and in order to do so, we need a larger team, which we do now have. We'll soon be 15 people, so that's twice as much as before. That's a very big difference and you're going to see the impact of that in the speed at which new content and new features are released in the next months. And the second reason why we've always been looking for a publisher is marketing, PR, community management, all of the things where we've been really weak, admittedly, uh, and particularly in the last year. I know that uh, communication between us and you hasn't been great, and the reason is that we just couldn't keep up. It was just too much work for such uh, a small team. Also, you've, we've never done a paid marketing campaign for the game, uh, or, a, or a marketing campaign in general, I would say, you know? Uh, and our reach in terms of uh, PR has always been pretty low as well, and that has hurt the, the growth of the project and, and the growth of the community. Uh, only a very big team with very big resources can do that, or a publisher. And uh, yeah, that's the second reason why we've been always looking for one. Uh, let's talk about why that publisher is Gamigo and not a different one. First of all, you need to know that the history between us and Gamigo goes way, way back. In detail, I think that we've been contacted by Gamigo for the very first time on November 20, 2017. That's uh, four years ago, pretty much. And uh, back then, the game was just an idea, a website and uh, a prototype being made. So, of course, it was too early, but Gamigo already showed interest in the ideas and the vision behind Fracture. Since then, Gamigo has performed multiple playtests on the game over the years and provided us with very, very valuable feedback. Uh, the game was still deemed not ready for a publishing deal until this year, uh, in the spring, where it finally was. And uh, we started discussing uh, the contract terms and we reached an agreement in the summer. Now, Gamigo hasn't been the only publisher, of course, that has done playtests and has evaluated the game and maybe even made proposals uh, or, or uh, for, a, for a possible deal. But Gamigo has always been the very first one and that, that matters. Uh, also, uh, another very important thing when choosing a publisher is we are an MMORPG. We need a publisher that is focused and has a big expertise on MMORPGs. Many publishers don't have that or don't want to get into MMORPGs anymore. Also, we are an MMORPG and we need a publisher with big focus and expertise on MMORPGs. There aren't many publishers that do that 
and that's absolutely fundamental because managing an MMORPG is different, I guess, from managing any other type of game. It's really, it's a really complex deal. And uh, Gamigo ha absolutely has that kind of expertise, has done MMOs for many, many, many years. We have always connected very well on a human level with Gamigo since the very early talks. And that's really important, you know, this uh, partnership may as well last for years and feeling good working with the people you have to work with every day for years, it matters. Like, I think you know that already, right? It really matters. So yeah, that's the reason uh, in a nutshell of why Gamigo. And now getting to some of your worries, which I know I'm fully aware and probably if I was in your place, I would have the same worries because I'm an MMO gamer too. First worry, first answer, no, the game is not going to change business model. It's buy to play and it stays buy to play. It's not going to go free to play. I know that Gamigo has done many uh, free to plays MMOs historically, but it doesn't mean that they have to do that forever, you know? Uh, they're absolutely fine with uh, Fractured being a buy-to-play game. Second, the game, no, it's not going to become pay-to-win. Uh, we are now starting to implement monetization, which wasn't in the game yet, and we are going to continue doing so over the next year. But nothing that we are going to implement is different from what we had already planned. So you know that the game is buy-to-play, as I've just said, then there is a store where it's selling cosmetics, skins, uh, pet companions and whatnot. And then there is a VIP subscription uh, for some more convenience. Nothing that creates a rift between paying users and non-paying users. Uh, and uh, yeah, Gamigo hasn't really proposed to add anything that we hadn't planned already. So don't worry, no pay to win we are not relinquishing creative control over the game that is still entirely in our hands and i may add gamigo has decided to sign us up because they've always liked the vision behind the game as i've said they've always liked the design of the game if they had wanted to uh, publish a theme park mmorpg they would have signed the deal with the theme park MMORPG, but uh, they liked uh, the sandbox nature of Fracture, the way crafting works, the way the three races work, the way PvP works, in a nutshell, the pillars of the design of the game. And uh, these are not going to change. Um, and also, we would not allow them to change. Uh, but uh, we're perfectly aligned on this, so there's not even any need to discuss it. And yeah, I guess this is it. Uh, this is all that uh, comes to my mind right now. But once again, uh, as I said in the beginning of the video, there's going to be a Q&A live stream. So check out the blog post for the exact date and time when that is going to happen. I hope this has made everything clear anyway. Uh, stay tuned because in the next few weeks, other than having finally community managers uh, always ready to reply to your questions, we are going to have many juicy blog posts and updates coming out videos as well. Some will cover our vision for the game if you're new here and some others will show the current uh, status of the game and development progress and roadmap to the next test and also of course the dates uh, when the next test is going to start. So stay tuned, all the updates will be coming very very quickly. Thank you for watching this, have a nice day and see you soon. Bye bye.